Hello Capricorn, welcome to another timeless general love reading. Please keep in mind it is general, it's not going to resonate with all of you, but you can feel free to check out your Moon Rising and Venus sign readings as well. That's going to give you a much bigger overall, more well-rounded view of the messages for this time period that you're here watching this. It is timeless, so I am trusting that you will be brought to this video at the exact time that you need to see and hear these messages, okay? Now, I wanna thank everybody for viewing, liking, sharing, subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out as that helps me in a big way and my channel to move forward and it helps the video to circulate so others can get their messages as well. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Let's get started. We're gonna start with a card from Kuan Yin Oracle. And your card, the threshold, number 39. That breaks down to a 12 and then again breaks down to a three, okay? So I don't know if that means something for you out there. Oh, beautiful. This makes me feel very strongly that you are on the precipice of something really big, Capricorn. You are, like it says, on the threshold. You are about to cross over into something so big and so beautiful. It is a new phase, a new cycle, a new way of living, a new career. It could be anything. So I'm going to read it now from the book for you. At the threshold you stand. Before you lies a way of being that is beyond fear. It's a sacred passing through a karmic veil into a new life of empowerment, peace, spiritual service to humanity, and joy in your own soul. Yes, and that's what I felt with that card. You are about to move into something so different and so big and so beautiful, Capricorn. Oh, it's exciting. I'm eager to see what the rest of the cards are. The next deck is the Motivation Manifesto. And your card is, we must ask if our desires to feel safe and accepted are in fact enslaving us to popular opinion and to boredom. We must ask if our desires to feel safe and accepted are in fact enslaving us to popular opinion and to boredom. This is all about doing what's right for you, going with your gut, your intuition, your inner knowing. It's, it's about Shifting into that place of living your life from intuition, from inner guidance, divine guidance, if you will, rather than from ego, because ego is all about conforming. Ego is all about doing things the way everybody else does them, okay? And you're being asked by spirit to take a look at that and see if your desires are uh, to feel safe and accepted and and are actually enslaving you to being stuck in 3D when you're being shifted forward into 5D. And that is going to create, like it says, boredom. You're not going to live that life of feeling excited and enriched and full and fulfilled, right? It's all about following your passion. These two cards here are the overall energy around you and your person at this point in time, okay? So this is what you're both, you're both sensing and, and going through. 
okay? Now I wanna also point out that this is my ninth video and I have set it up so that this side is you, this side is your person, or this side, you know, vice versa, your person and you. One side is you, one side is your person. However, spirit has different plans <laughs> because the videos that I've done up to this point feels more to me like at least a section is both of you combined, if not the whole area, okay? So whatever resonates with you, take it how it resonates. Spirit wants the messages to get through as spirit wants them to get through. I am not in control of that, neither are you, okay? So we're, we're open to however this comes across for you. Next deck we're going to be using is my Synchronicity Oracle deck, okay? Let's take a look at these. Oh, way too many. I'm not gonna keep these, I don't take the flippers, but I just want you to see what showed up. Rest, relax, rejuvenate. Life-altering changes. Ask. Have faith. And expansion. Absolutely, that's what this card speaks of. So one of these cards may come out, maybe none of them will. Maybe it was just a message for you to realize where you're at on your path, okay? Take what resonates. Again, if none of those resonate with you, then none of them were yours. So, first card out. <laughs> Taurus got this too. Number 144, live your purpose without dimming your light. Yes, be you, Capricorn. Live your life. Live your life, not to popular opinion, but to your opinion, what you want, your life's purpose, move towards your destiny, be true to you. Now 144 and number 44. I did a video, I'm gonna link it to this video for you here because these are numbers, these, these numbers on these cards that I did are because I was seeing the numbers frequently and I wanted to know what they meant so I asked my guides and this is what they gave me. So. I also did up a video recently to let you know what all the messages are around number 44 and number 144. So I'm gonna link that in, in the, the video for you here, okay? So you can see what number 44 represents as well. The next card out, oh yes, freedom, 999. So if you're seeing either one of these numbers or both of these numbers, or start seeing them, this is what they represent. This is about freedom. It's about letting go of the ego. It's about letting go of popular opinion. It's about not moving in a direction because everybody else expects you to move that way or wants you to move that way. This is all about you being true to you, Capricorn. It's basically the same message for all the earth signs now. Okay, now we're gonna draw on some tarot. We're going to use Tarot Apocalypsis. Okay, first card out, whoa, nine of pentacles, yes. This is everything coming to you. This is the threshold. You are on the threshold of financial independence, of a life of beauty, grace. Look at this, everything in this card for me represents beauty and grace and ease. When I look at her, she doesn't look stressed. She looks like, yeah, this is where I'm at. She's at ease. And that's where you're going to be. Look at the elephant there. That's luck. You are about to step into it. You are on the threshold, Capricorn absolutely on the threshold of something enormously beautiful. 
Seven of Wands. This is all about standing your ground. Victory. Have, look at this guy. He stood his ground. He stood up for what he believed in. And he is now the, the top of the heap. He's the king of the pile. King, queen, however you want to look at it. You are about to be exactly where you want to be at the top of that heap. Let go of conforming. The moon. For me in this deck, okay, this is all about uncertainty. It's about not knowing. It's about not having clarity. And because of that, do you see this lady? She's got all kinds of guards. She's got two vicious dogs that are going to protect her. She's got a dagger in one hand, and she's got what looks like maybe a, a poisonous potion in a cup. She's ready for the fight. She is um, very guarded. Now, I don't normally get that message with the moon. That is not what the moon represents. But in this deck, in the artwork, that's the message that's coming through to me. This is about someone being very guarded, very... Uh, hmm. not someone that feels free or that's moving toward freedom. This is somebody that's very nervous, very uh, needing to feel safe and accepted. That, whoever this is, needs to let go of that in order to move forward. Now, like I said, these cards could all be about you and your person, one side could be you, the other side could be your person, whatever resonates, okay? It feels very strongly to me that it might be both of you because that's what's brought in this and this is the energy around both of you. This is all about asking yourself if your desire to feel safe and accepted is enslaving you and she looks very enslaved. This lady looks very calm, cool, collected, at ease. She's very graceful. She's very abundant, very prosperous. She's content. This one is up in arms. It's like, no one's going to take this from me. No one's going to do this to me. That is not conducive to crossing the threshold into everything that you want, into that abundance and prosperity. That needs to be let go of, whoever that's for, okay? You know, this is blowing my mind. The King of Swords, he has shown up in your reading, Taurus's and Virgo's reading in the same exact placement. Wow. So, I don't know if Capricorn, you have a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius in your world. But if you don't, this is all about the energy of standing tall, proud, knowing who you are, what it is you want, what you're about and not, not fading into the background. This guy knows exactly who he is, what he is, and the direction he wants to head in. Absolutely. And, you know, this, it doesn't surprise me because we are all connected, but in doing these tarot readings, I have found that we're all even more connected in the suits. So all the earth signs now are needing to take on this energy of the King of Swords, living in your truth, living in your power, being authentic. That's what this talks about. If you want to cross that threshold, this is who you need to be, not this person. This person, not this person. Trust. Have faith. Okay. Now we're moving into Island Time Wellness. Be true to you, Capricorn. That King of Swords is screaming at me saying, be true to you. That was the same message in the other readings as well. That's what's going to get you across this threshold into the life you've been dreaming of and wanting. Okay. 
first card out. The Golden Mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Not today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation or a call or a person. Boundaries, still angry. Okay. <laughs> so, this again, this could be your person. It could be you, whoever. could be both of you. This is part of what you're being asked to take a look at, okay? Ask yourself, again, if your desires to feel safe and accepted are enslaving you to popular opinion. Someone that's self-absorbed or narcissistic in tendencies and who <laughs> is not dealing, it's like, talk to the hand here, I'm not dealing with this. This is someone who is being a way that they feel they should be, what others are expecting them to be, the way of the ego. And this is what you're being asked to walk away from in order to have this freedom, in order to cross that threshold into everything that you've wanted for so long. You've been working toward this, Capricorn. This is all the work that you've been putting in You've worked on yourself. You've got to this place of the threshold. Spirit is asking you to not let this old way of being pull you back in to 3D, to the ego way of living, the egotistical way of living. You are being asked to move into the spiritual, free way of living and being. Okay. Next card, mask, not showing true feelings, hiding, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. Again, these are all the ego speaking. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego, yes. Now I feel like this whole top shelf here is both of you. You and your person, whoever that might be. I feel like both of you are struggling with this acceptance here that Spirit is asking for. Whew. The energy around your reading is intense. It's um, You've got some beauty right here. So it's, it's possible that one of you has moved into this place and let go of this. And one of you has not yet or is moving in that direction but isn't quite there yet, okay? So I wanna get a rune for you. Okay. So this one is I don't know if I pronounce these right or not, but now these, now these, now these, something like that. But it's about necessity, okay? The meaning of it is necessity. And that is <laughs> kind of the story that we've, we've received to this point. It is necessary for you to move in this new direction to be this person, right? To stand in your true authentic authenticity, to be you, to be true to you. To let go of the ego, the way of thinking and being and doing, ego, ego if I could speak, egoically. You're being asked to move into a higher state of consciousness where you utilize your inner guidance system to move forward even though you can't see where you're headed because it's dark right now, but it's about to be light. You are about to be, you are about to see the truth in a matter, okay? Now, 
the other things around that ruin are, are about constraint and resistance. Caution, being careful, but also having the will to overcome. Okay, so use constraint to not go there. Spirit is asking you to walk away from the old egoic way of looking at things, thinking, being and doing, so that you can cross that threshold. This is a very beautiful reading, Capricorn. I'm not sure how you're feeling about it, but the energy around it is, is, is wanting to move in a very beautiful direction. And I feel like you are on your way. You're on the threshold. So you've done the work. You are at that place of crossing into that big, beautiful new phase in your life. You're there. Choose spiritual. Choose intuition over ego. And you will have freedom, my friend. You will be on the path to living your life's purpose and towards your destiny. And your eternal soulmate. Wow. Okay. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.